Hi. Uh, today I want to reflect on this question. Are you living life or life is living you? For the past uh, three years, I have worked with individuals who are nonagenarians and some of them are centenarians, meaning uh, most of them have gone above the age of 90 years old and some of them more than 100 years old. And usually when I'm done with my psychological assessment, I ask them what I consider a very important question. And the question is, you know, you're 96 years old. Would you mind sharing with me you know, how the time went by for you? All these years, did it go by very fast or very slow? And invariably, they tell me that their lives went by very fast. Now, for someone to be 96 years old, and they tell me that their lives went by very fast, I consider a powerful wake-up call. That means, you know, life goes by very fast. Time goes by very fast. And that begs the question, you know, is it worth to spend your present moment being stuck in the past or being a prisoner of the future? You might ask, how can I be a prisoner of my past? Well, one can be a prisoner of our past through resentfulness and grudges and hatred against those who have done us harm. But we can also be a prisoner of our past with guilt, you know, the things that we have done against other people. We can be prisoners of our future uh, through different ways. You know, we impose on ourselves conditions to be happy. For example, I will only be happy when I finish my college. I'm only going to be happy when I get married or I purchase a home. Another way of being a prisoner of the future is through anxieties. You know, am I going to get sick? Am I going to be able to afford this or, or do that? And the problem with being stuck in the past or in the future is that the present moment is fast fleeting. We're not experiencing, we're not enjoying. And as a result, life goes by very fast. Uh, take, for example, one simple thing that people do on a daily basis, and at times it just goes by before their eyes and they don't notice that they're doing. Uh, taking their children to a school. You know, either they spend five, ten minutes, or they drive them to school, or they walk them to school. And that five, ten minutes could be of quality time. It, we can make it very special. You know, it's a unique moment. Uh, because that moment will not come back again. But what happens when people are doing those things? You know, they're holding the child's hand and either they are on a cell phone, they are thinking about what occurred in, on yesterday or they're concentrating on what's going to happen in the next couple of hours, they're late to work. Meanwhile, they're not enjoying the moment of walking their children to a school. And before they know it, here they are, taking their kids to college, and they ask themselves, you know, it's been 18 years. What happened? It went by so fast, and I, I don't, some of them don't even know who their children are when they go to college. It's a very sad thing. Uh, so consider this, you know, is it worth to be stuck in our, past, in our past or in our future through anxieties? In the book, The Gospel According to his spiritism, chapter 5. We learn about forgetfulness of the past. When people get to know the spiritist philosophy, one of the main questions they ask is, you know, how come I don't remember my past? I wish I would know what I was in a past existence. Well, but forgetfulness of our past is a blessing for our present. And reason being, it's because if we remembered the things that we have done in previous existence, that might, might cause us tremendous guilt. If we remember the things that other people have done to us, that might bring that resentfulness again. And that would rob us away from our present. And we would waste an opportunity uh, of growth 
because the purpose of our existence is to better ourselves intellectually and morally, to become smart individuals and to become better individuals. But if I'm stuck in my past through resentfulness and guilt, I am not taking the opportunity to use my present to grow. And our future is made with today's actions, with our present. So therefore, uh, consider that the present moment is more special than your past and will make it special if you do it uh, the right things with it in order for you to have a better future. Enjoy the moment. I want to thank all the viewers. Uh, please share this video. Thank you, the new subscribers. Uh, and if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Press the little bell. I wish you an excellent week of growth.